Fox News alert now out of the Persian Gulf. Iran seizing another foreign tanker, this time from Iraq, over suspicion it was smuggling fuel to Arab countries. Seven sailors on board have been detained. This, of course, with tensions high between the U.S. and Tehran after Washington reimposed sanctions on Iran. Lucas Tomlinson has more from the Pentagon this morning. Lucas? Sandra, it's the third oil tanker seized by Iranian forces since mid-July. It was seized on the same day the Trump administration sanctioned Iran's top diplomat. Javad Zarif says he was sanctioned after declining an invitation to visit the White House. The United States is not interested in diplomacy, period. Had they been interested in diplomacy, they would not have left the, diplom the diplomatic table for negotiations, which existed, was at their disposal. They just left it. The Iraqi oil tanker was seized near Farsi Island near the Persian Gulf, 400 miles from the Strait of Hormuz, where Iranian forces seized those two other oil tankers last month, one from Great Britain, the other from the United Arab Emirates. Farsi Island is also where Iranian forces briefly detained those 10 U.S. Navy sailors in 2016. Iran's provocations come more than a year after the Trump administration pulled the U.S. out of the nuclear deal and ramped up sanctions against Iran, crippling its oil exports. Sunday, Iraq's oil ministry denied any ties to the oil tanker seized by Iran. On. on the alleged offer by the Trump administration to meet Zarif, on Sunday, Iranian state media said, quote, during a meeting with the U.S. Senator, they invited him to meet Trump. The New Yorker says, Sandra, Senator Rand Paul made the offer. Sandra. All right, Lucas Tomlinson at the Pentagon.